the jab and the cross. These are straight punches, stance, shoulder width apart. This is orthodox stance, left foot in front, right in the back. If you are lefty, it's gonna be the opposite way. Right foot in front, left foot in the back. Slightly bend the knees, my body weight will be equally distributed in both legs and light on my feet. Means that every time I strike, my heels are going to come off the ground. Hands up, close your fist, and this is the jab, okay? The front hand is the jab, it's a straight punch. As I strike, I rotate my fist and thumb is gonna be, gonna be finishing facing down. The cross is the back fist. When I throw the cross, I will rotate my hip and peep up with my back foot. The non-punching hand is covering my face, okay? Jab and the cross, jab and the cross. My chin is gonna be tucked in. I'm not punching like this, okay? When I throw the cross, you will not see my chin. You only see my eyes, okay? So jab, cross. A big nose, the elbows up. We call it no chicken wings, please. So avoid doing this, okay? That's a big no. So remember, it's all about keeping it tight. Elbows are going to be pointing down and covering your ribs. As you strike, you get back elbow down and switch, and switch, and switch. Jab and across, and it looks like this. The hooks. For this punch, we are going to bring the elbow up. A 90 degree angle, thumb is gonna be facing me, okay? This is the leading hook. Notice how I rotate my hip, and I pivot on my toe every time I strike. This is the power hook, the one that is coming from the back. So I'm going to switch. The non-punching hand is gonna be by my face, and now I punch with the opposite arm. Again, 90 degree angle, thumb is facing me, my, my body, and I'm rotating my hip. I'm not punching like this, okay? Please avoid being stuck in the mark. <laughs> Remember the light feet? Yeah, so every time you strike your heel, come off the ground, and pretend that you're dancing. It's all about dancing. If you can dance, you can box. So, hook and a hook. A big no is this one, the white punch. Avoid, please, doing this. The power is coming from the legs, okay? So, keep it tight. First, rotate your hip, pivot on your toe, and then you throw a punch and switch and switch. And it looks like this. The uppercuts, these are going to be upward punches, okay? Again, stance, shoulder width apart, left foot in front, right foot in the back for orthodox stance, left is the opposite one, okay? So again, elbows close to the body. From here, we are going to load to the left and strike with the leading uppercut. In this case, is the arm in front of my body, okay? So from here, load, and this is upward movement. Bottom up. Somebody grab me from the neck. I will free myself by punching bottom up, aiming for the chin. The power uppercut is gonna be the one coming from the back. Okay? And again, notice that I'm not throwing the punch like this. I'm moving my hips, I'm rotating my hips and pivoting on my back foot to create the power. Okay? Avoid, please, the big loop. Avoid doing this. It's a big no, okay? So elbows close to the body, rotate the hip first, and then strike. Rotate and strike. Rotate and strike. And it looks like this. Front kick. Two ways to do it. The first one is striking with the top of the foot of the lower part of the shin, okay? Let's break it down. Step one is to bring in the back leg in front and chat. Step two is going to be extend the leg extension in what, maybe the snappy motion, okay, or whip. And step three, you put the foot down either in front of you or step one, chamber, step two, snap, and step three is bring it back to starting point. Now, when you are going to strike, you are going to lag the ankle, and again, it's a snapping motion. Make sure that you bring your knee as high as you can. Avoid doing this. 
low knee and strike. Okay, it's like a soccer kick. Avoid doing that. Make sure that you chamber, knee toward your chest, snap in motion and back. That is one way. The second way to throw a front kick is striking with the ball or the foot. In this case, we are going to pull the toes back, same as the front kick, the first version, chamber, but and then pull the toes back and strike with the ball of the foot, either finish with the foot in front or strike in a foot back to starting point and it looks like this. The side kick. For this one, we are going to throw a kick, a side kick in place. Neutral stance, lean to the left, we are going to kick with the right leg, lean to the left, you chamber, bring your knee as high as you can, close to your, close to your chest, and then you fully extend your leg, okay? The striking part is gonna be the heel or the blade of the foot. One of the most common mistakes is not bringing the knee up, it's doing just something like this. The height doesn't matter, it could be low to the knee. The more flexible you get later on, the higher you can go, but in the beginning, always go low. The most important thing, the chamber, bring your knee as high as you can, and it looks like this. The roundhouse kick. This is a very popular kick. So, garden position, the back leg is the one that is gonna be doing the strike, and there are two ways to do it. Let me show you the first one, is break it down. Step one is pivoting on the supporting foot. Very important, as you start, your supporting foot is gonna be pointing 45 degree angle, and at the moment that you strike, your heel is gonna be pointing the opponent or the target. Okay, so step one, rotate 45 degree angle the supporting foot. Step number two, the back leg coming from in channel. Notice how it's a horizontal play, and then you strike a needle with the foot down in front, or if you are practicing and standing back, the kick is gonna bounce back and you can bring the leg. So again, step one, pivot. Step two is the horizontal plane, strike and get back. And it looks like this. Okay. Now, if you are practicing target pads or in the air, we are going for a more like a 45 degree angle roundhouse kick. Okay, again, step one, pivoting, step two, is bringing the back leg in front, chamber, and then from here we go in a 45 degree angle, finish with the foot in front, or after the strike, you can bring the foot back, either way, okay? And it looks like this. Knee strike, for this one, for the guarding position, the back knee come in front, the hip push forward and lean back and come back to the starting point. So, step one, chamber, step two, push forward, lean back and come back. And it looks like this. Now, the other way to do the um, knee strike is for neutral stance, lean to the side, it's more like a for cardio purposes, okay? In this, in this case, I'm going to keep my center of gravity on my left side, and then I'm going to strike with the knee sideways. I don't bring my body weight to my right foot. My right foot barely tap on the ground and bounce back, okay? And it looks like this. Back fist and hammer fist. Got in position. For the back fist, we are going to strike or aim with the big two knuckles, okay? So one hand is covering my face. I'm going to bend my elbow at 45 degree angle, horizontal plane. The fist comes to, toward my opposite ear. And from here, I fully extend my arm, but not to the point to lack my elbow. It's gonna hurt. So I will finish with my arm fully extended, almost fully extended, slightly bend the elbow, okay? And it looks like this. Now, hammer fit is very similar. In this case, we are going to strike with the midi part of the hand, okay? 
elbow up, horizontal plane, 45 degree angle, the fist come toward my ear, but in this case, the thumb is facing down, and again, we rotate my body, create more power, and finish with my elbow slightly bent. I don't want to lock my elbow, it's gonna hurt, okay? And it looks like this. Front elbow. From the garden stance, in this case, I'm going to bring my elbow up, 45 degree angle, horizontal plank. The non pointing hand is gonna be covering my face, and I'm going to strike with the, with the last inch of the elbow. Again, I will not just go like this. I will rotate my body and pivot it on my back foot, foot to create more power, and it looks like this. The back elbow. In this case, we are going to start a neutral stance. My elbow is coming up, horizontal plane. I'm going to strike with the last inch of the elbow. Again, I will bring my hand toward my opposite ear. And from here, either I can lean and strike or I can step and drop, okay? You don't wanna step and create a big stance. You step and drop. This one is going to create more power. So again, I'm going to cover my face from here. I'm going to lean to the side. Or I'm going to step and drive. 